and today we will be looking at the new iOS 6 for iPod, iPad and iPhone. So, we'll simply be looking at the features that there are to do with the new iOS 6. Okay, so as you can see the home screen, we've got now got a different settings look to the settings. And we've now got um, Passbook, which is on the home screen. So, what else do we have? We also have the new pull-down menu. Not much different to 5.5.1. Just got weather, Google, and we've got tap to tweet, if you want to tweet. Also, there is a Facebook setting. As I don't have Facebook, I can't do that. But you just add your thing on settings, and it will just pull it up straight away. And there you can see tap to tweet. You can just send the words hi. And click send. And simply my tweet is gone and a little tweet noise will come up saying tweet sent. So we also have new is different layout of settings. On the iPhone it is believed that there is another um, row of apps in the settings. There is on the iPad. Um, the clock. On my iPod Touch, it's a lot different to what it is on the iPad. It is, um, obviously, it's a white clock with a different um, setting, but at the moment, Apple are going into a trial against um, another uh, company because they think that they've stolen their clock design. So, of course, we still have Safari, we still got the music and the mail and the messages. Now, the music has been updated. We now have a nice new white look to it. Okay, so I'm just going to play an album of Call Me Maybe. Okay, so as you can see, we've still got the we've got the lyrics that appear up. Um, There's a slight different sound towards, but as you turn it around, we still got the shuffle for the albums. Okay, so we're coming out of that one. Now you might notice from the home screen there is no more. Uh, there happens to be no more Google Maps. Instead, we have Apple Maps, which is thought to not be very good, but they are still in the making, so it's still going to be improved. And we're still looking towards this. Now, also, we have weather, which has a slightly different layout, but still the same sort of basis that we've been looking for. Okay. Now, I'm just going to pop out that one. The App Store has had a slightly different makeover. As has the iTunes Store. Let's wait for it to boot up. And it's got all new apps for the I, um, iOS 6 for the iPhone 5. I'm just going to hit the home. There, as you can see, it's been newly updated. And the new Bad Piggies game is one I love and recommend you can check out my other videos to see about the new bad piggies um, also the camera has had a bit of an update which is a lot different as you can see here different camera different layout, different settings um, also the home screen I'm just going to hit this whack the middle button and as you can see here, slightly different layout. Not too different to 5.1. You can just drag it up to get to the camera. Otherwise, we can just go down. Okay, so the settings has had a bit of a makeover. Lots of new different things. You've also got Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, Do Not Disturb, which is like ignoring FaceTime calls and like telling you about them later. Slight different setup. Also got iTunes App Store, Twitter and Facebook. This is where you can add your account to use on the device a lot more easily. iTunes, like I said, has got a new update. Uh, just looking at videos a second. Haven't got any videos, so I can download them from the store. Still, going to be the same sort of layout. Okay, FaceTime. Now, FaceTime. Not a lot different, um, apart from the fact that you can use it over 3G now, which makes it a lot more handy. Um, also, we have photo albums. A lot easier, so I've just got a picture here. I'm going to create a new album. Uh, I've got a picture of Santa saying 79 sleeps to go. Okay, so I'm just going to click on this little button here. 
and here we will get the option to send mail, message, put it into the photo stream, um, use Twitter or Facebook, assign it to a contact, print, copy or use as wallpaper. A lot more handy. Plus, we also have... Um, some of the games have been up updated and improved since iOS 6, so we've got better gameplay for some of them, which is a lot better. Um, from the home screen, you also realise that the YouTube app has been missing due to a debate with um, Apple and Google, as they now own YouTube. You can download the new YouTube app, which is a lot easier to use, if you ask me. A lot more fluent, works a lot better. And as we can see, if you signed in, it makes it a lot more easy because you can see what's going on. You can search a lot more easily. You should be able to see more videos. Now we have also have one here. A few different things. Not much different. Um, just a few things. But my mail as well. When you drag that up, you get the little new refresh button, which is pretty cool. Um, the clock. You certainly, it's kind of the same sort of thing on the clock, it's not too much different so that's also something we don't need to worry too much about not a lot has changed verily, it's a lot more easier to use um, supposed to be a lot more faster, I certainly have noticed a few more differences uh, a lot more apps that have been updated to make sure that iOS 6 is going to run smoothly with them um, yep, yeah, so also on the new iPod touches which are going to be released soon they um they will have Siri, so the Siri's been updated and it's now available for iPad 3. Sadly not for iPad 2 or the iPod Touch. Um, but we also have a shared photo stream, um, different Safari, the phone's been updated for the iPhone. We've got FaceTime, Maps, um, Accessibility and the all-new Passbook app. Which involves you having to download some useful apps if you just click useful apps that could help you out. Okay. These apps here, apps for passbook, which should appear. Um, also, it has been made a lot, lot easier to um, be able to download a lot more faster. Um, the maps are quite different. They're a lot different, so... Google Maps is still the best to use on that one, I would say. Also, to update to iOS 6, it's not too hard. Um, you can just go to General, like we did last time, and Software Update, and it will check for update, and you should get iOS 6. Now, you should get the option to download and install. If you don't get the option to download and install, just go onto your computer on iTunes and download iOS 6, then it will pop up with Install. The device can self-install, and it's a lot more clever and it just reboots itself and it just loads itself up and it doesn't take very long at all. The download is longer than the time it takes to reboot so iOS 6 is loaded on very quickly, very easily and very smoothly runs perfectly and doesn't delete any of your apps, it's all still there. So there's not too much to worry about to be honest with the new update. Um, it's nice and easy, shouldn't be too hard to operate. So yeah, if you hear any more please leave me a message or if you'd like any more videos, please rate, comment and subscribe and I'll be uploading more soon. Thanks guys.